102 city training volunteers in Shoho Baru receive gray uniforms to reward their progresses. Vietnam city volunteers host year and blessing ceremonies to pray for a peaceful new year. Welcome to Dad Headlines, I'm Maggie Tai. Thank you for joining us. After a few months of training, 102 individuals from Joe Baru and other parts of Malaysia have successfully become city training volunteers. Their progress was rewarded as they recently received great uniforms to spread in the stage of their development. Early in the morning, volunteers were busy preparing conduit symbolizing family unity. This also was used to send warm blessings to volunteers who had just completed their training. I went to Huarin three years ago to take part in the Siji Entrepreneur Camp in Taiwan. This was how I started to learn about Siji. But after I came back, I did not continue to train. Until this year, I became more determined to complete this training. Master Zheng Yan said one sentence, we should remember the initial aspiration, which reminded me to complete my training. During the two-day course, the group went from static sharing to dynamic practice with students demonstrating the humanities they learned in the past few months. During the training, I learned a lot about humanitarianism. In the past, when I went out with my wife, I would walk in front and she would walk behind me. But now I have learned to be more loving and careful. I have been concerned about my wife recently and she asked why I have changed. And I said that it is because of Ziji. There are also eight Indian volunteers who have overcome language barriers and completed the volunteer training course. When I go for the activities like recycle and home visit, I feel happy to see, because most of my group uh, recipients are all Indians. So when I went there to visit them, they say they are happy to see you because you can uh, explain to us clearly in our mother tongue, which made me happy. After receiving a special gift along with blessings and affirmation, they will now take up the responsibility of being trainee volunteer. China City Volunteers in Yunnan Province held a winter event before the New Year. They provided gifts to 558 people so they too could experience the warmth of humanity. The event did not start until 9 o'clock, but city volunteers in Kunming are already working before dawn. The warehouse is a bit far from the venue site, but everyone comes together to move the items. The warehouse is a bit far from here, but we use carts and vehicles to move the goods. Everyone cooperates together, so we can move all the goods very quickly. It is not just the adults, children are also eager to help. Li Xinyi, who just recovered from his illness, also comes to volunteer with his mother. I feel happy by helping other people. After moving these goods, I saw the work we did, so I felt a sense of accomplishment. Li Yicheng got up much earlier than going to school because he wants to help with his grandmother. I've learned how to cooperate with other people. The temperature in Kunming became 10 degrees Celsius colder on this day, but the venue is very warm. Chen Kuni is wearing the winter jacket she received eight years ago, so she is both physically and psychologically warm. We disabled people felt pessimistic about our lives, but when we think about you, you will feel everything is wonderful. The world is very beautiful. <laughs> one bag of rice, one jar of cooking oil, and one blanket are Cici's gifts to everyone. I will do my best to wear a scarf for those in remote mountains. Their gratitude accompanies them to live through the winter every year, bringing warmth to each other. City volunteers held an event for the eighth consecutive year in Guangdong's Zhongluo Tan town. 500 families participated in the morning, which was quite cold, though city volunteers were very warm-hearted. It's a cold winter and Ziji is busy distributing warmth to 500 households in Zhongluo Tan town. 
Volunteers have been providing warmth since 2012. Each month, they visit families in the village regardless of weather, bringing care and compassion from great distance. They bring us renewed hope for our lives. Sending blessings, volunteers hope every family can have a good upcoming year. In the past eight years, regular monthly visits gave many inspirations. An elderly grandpa brought an environmentally friendly bag that he received at year-end blessing ceremony three years ago, stirring up some fond memories. What do I do with it? I take it when I go out for fun or when I want to carry things. It is very useful and strong. Though the winter is cold and our hearts are warm, it may be hard to get out of bed. But thinking of these gifts that we can give the people makes it worthwhile as we bring a little warmth to the villages. This is something worth doing, and in the process of doing this, I feel very excited and very happy. This is an indescribable joy. This love stirs a new chapter of life. <laughs> Xiamen City volunteers held a year and blessing event featuring artwork from Wang Xingru. For six months, he used a brush to paint the activities of volunteers. These actions helped him overcome his autism and embrace everyone's love. Take a look of him painting. Actually, I think taking care of our spirits and mind is more important than doing recycling. The characters in the painting appeared in front of everyone, telling people about Ziji's work. The whole wall was done by Wang Xingru who for half a year painted with all his heart the figures of Ziji people he saw. I saw that he was so happy doing this work. You can see his happiness from inside out. Being able to talk in front of strangers is even more difficult for him because of his autism. It was Ziji volunteers who inspired him into action. The kind care and love from Ziji volunteers helped me change my complicated thoughts and feelings. It's his mother who brought him to Ziji. On that day, he served her a cup of tea to show his gratitude. He said he would no longer make me angry. Secondly, he wanted to do the same as me to become a Ziji volunteer. Xiamen's end-of-year blessing ceremony was also quite touching. Xu Yuchun, who suffers from a blood disorder, was told by doctors that he would not live to the age of five. Now he's already attending university, and everyone's love and company have helped him grow up. At the beginning, I felt unfortunate, but later I feel very lucky because I have a big Ziji family, and my relatives such as grandparents, grandma, father, and mother, uncles are all really good to me. With love, tenderness, and emotion, many will be motivated to enjoy a new year. At Tainan Municipal Fuxing Primary School, in order to let the students know how to protect their eyes, Dai mothers acted out a play promoting the importance of protecting one's eyes. They show how overuse of cell phones could affect their vision. Let's check out their creative play. Dai mothers dressed up in costumes, rehearsing the drama before the performance on campus. <laughs> Since it was originally a Snow White fairy tale, the audience thought there were supposed to be poison apples on stage, but turned out they were replaced with a cell phone. We found out that the myopia rate was gradually rising in the lower grades, so we hope to let these first and second grade students to watch this drama in order to educate them with the correct knowledge. They understood the best side of, of using cell phones. So when they see the back screen gets Snow White the phone, they kept telling her not to use it. In the drama, Snow White used her phone day and night and her vision was damaged. 3C products represented as poison apples leave a deep impression on the student in the audience. I will be aware of the health of my vision and have some protection to care for my eyes. I will not become nearsighted like my parents.
Since Da Ai mothers performed the story, it let our students clearly understand the importance of eye protection. These Dai mothers who used to teach Jing Si aphorism on campus now promote the importance of eye protection through this drama. It not only makes up what students didn't learn from their classes, but also improved their character and humanitarian education. Vietnam City volunteers held ear and blessing ceremonies in Ho Chi Minh City and in Binh Duong. The public received their red envelopes of blessings and wisdom and also prayed for world peace and auspiciousness in the new year. City Vietnam Liaison Office holds a ear and blessing ceremony in Ho Chi Minh City. Volunteers also display many items made from recyclables to the delight of the public. Volunteers also put on a sutra adaptation of the Sutra of Innumerable Meanings and give best wishes to the audience. On behalf of Master Zheng Yin and Ziji volunteers from around the world, I want to give best wishes to all the honorable guests, every audience member, and all the volunteers. I want to praise Ziji for giving help without regard to religion or race. I hope Ziji can go to every corner of the world to enumerate suffering. If there is enough amenity, I hope Ziji can also come to our preference, and I will help Ziji to help those in need. The year end blessing ceremony is also being held in Binduang province. The audience received the red envelopes of blessing and wisdom, and also the best wishes for the new year. What moved me the most was seeing the volunteers helping the disaster survivors. I hope there won't be any more disaster. I saw in the video that a lot of people weren't very rich, but they were still willing to donate money to help people, and that moved me very much. I hope more and more people are willing to do good deeds. As these lights are being turned on, representing the power of goodness being gathered together, everyone prays together to welcome the new year. The end of the year blessing ceremony in Keelung attracted more than 3,000 participants. Volunteers performed the drama about the issues of long-term care of the elderly and also visited a nursing home with elementary school students to entertain the elderly. They even promote environmental protection using fluent Minnan language. In the end of year blessing ceremony in Keelung, a drama about long-term care of the elderly has led to a deeper consideration about the issue. Different kinds of booths were set up outside the venue to attract people to come. Students from Ganin and Mudan elementary schools have also specially come to give a singing performance. We have sung different songs like Happy Years, Jingle Bells and The Truth of Love to create a lively atmosphere at the venue. The bone marrow care team also came to encourage young people to donate bone marrow to save lives. My younger brother passed away because of cancer. So I want to devote myself to help in this area. There were six sessions of the end of year blessing ceremony in Keelung, and more than 3,000 participants came to join. They not only watched the performance, but also found the power in peace of mind. Save a dollar every day to make a wish and cultivate a kind thought. I'm very anxious. Coming here makes me calm down. At the end of the year, Chiji volunteers also went to a nursing home to entertain the elderly with a performance. This time, there were students from Fuxin Elementary School to perform together. They also spoke Minnan language all along to promote environmental protection. I think it is very meaningful for students from Fuxing Elementary School to join this event and speak fluent Minan language to the elderly. This can also provide the children with such a platform to speak freely. 
the elderly and children welcomed the arrival of the new year together with laughter and happiness. At this year's blessing ceremony at the Cixi Songshan office, some volunteers performed the skit called Animals Are Our Best Friends. The performance were mostly seniors, but their funny and lively show made everyone laugh. It also passed on the ideas that we should all be vegetarian as well as we should not kill animals for food. Let's join the performance. <laughs> These animals cry and sue the humans for all kinds of brutalities against them. People are putting up this kid at a year end blessing ceremony. I feel I could toss aside some unhappy event and annoying things this year after I came to today's event, and I felt much relieved. I also have some new expectations for myself for next year. In addition to the residents of Songshan District, people from other cities such as Kaohsiung and Jiayi also attended this ceremony. Feeling so many sisters working busily for this event, I'm very touched. Volunteers went through the streets before the ceremony to invite the public to this ceremony. I feel so warm. All the sisters I saw were all smiling. Even though they are much older than me, they enjoy what they do. Another year and blessing ceremony is attended by children of a kindergarten, seniors of a long-term care center, and the residents of a rehabilitation center. Our elderly people are all very happy to see so many adorable children. Because our institution is very closed off, so our seniors don't have contact with the outside world that often. The Master's Blessing is very helpful for their minds. Love makes people feel warm in this year and blessing ceremony. 46-year-old volunteer Xie Shouhui of Zhanghua County in Taiwan is a role model for a year-end blessing ceremony. A fire six years ago destroyed a factory owned by her husband and her with the fire almost taking her husband's life. After experiencing this impermanence, Xie Shouhui thought about her life, later becoming a certified city volunteer this year. In 2013, Xie Shouhui's and her husband's factory was destroyed in fire. Her husband was also critically injured. When I arrived in the hospital, he was intubated. He was charred everywhere, and he kept shaking. If he didn't survive, what will I do? Fortunately, her husband survived this accident, but their factory was destroyed, and they owed a huge debt. My heart ached very much. Sometimes when I was riding my scooter, I did keep crying. Everyone has his or her lesson to learn, but I felt my lesson was an anomalous test for me. It was humongous. At this low point in life, Cixi Volunteers' company allowed Xie Xiaohui to regain her courage. While her husband was recovering, their factory started running again, and they could pay back all the debt. I felt that this was due to cause or event, so I accepted it. The master once said, if you accepted it willingly, you could get 20% off, otherwise the result would become bigger. After Xie Xiaohui joined Cixi, she also started giving help. Her husband saw how she changed. She used to be very gloomy and had depression, but now she volunteers every day and comes home happily. After she learned the Dharma, she applies it every day. So after she faces it, she will face it bravely and then solve it. Xie Xiaohui does all kinds of Cixi work willingly. She has found her goal and knows her path. Doing good deeds is the only goal of her life now. Cixi volunteers in Kuala Lumpur and Sri Lanka visited the care recipient Simon's home to promote environmental protection. Volunteers also encouraged Simon's friends and relatives to go meatless in order to reduce the emissions of carbon dioxide. We cultivate 10 kilograms of grain a day. Do you know how many kilograms are used to feed animals? Six kilograms. 
Behind the numbers are warning signals. Gigi volunteers in Kuala Lumpur and Slayang go to the care recipient Simon's home to advocate environmental protection. We want to let the care recipients and the attendees understand the importance of environmental protection and being vegetarian. And finally, we want them to know love is borderless. In addition to Simon's family of five, they have also invited Simon's relatives and friends to learn together. I also learned to recycle things and I've been doing that so I need to teach more people so that they can increase recycling so we can give good air and a good environment to the world. After I heard a speech from Uncle to become a vegetarian is better for environment and I also thinking about I'm still going to change to vegetarian because good to environment and good to me also and everyone and animals and the world. Chiji volunteers share the stories of the Corn Bank and encourage everyone to do good deeds by donating some money. We have distributed five coin banks today. Everyone has kindly accepted. They said that they also want to do good deeds. Doing good deeds is regardless of religions. Everyone can contribute their part to protect the environment and spread love. During the holiday season, most Americans go on vacation or spend time with family and friends. However, firefighters and police officers need to be on duty during this time, and they are unable to spend holidays with their family. Hence, USTG volunteers visited them and brought them blankets, giving them warmth and encouragement. On the last week of 2019, CGUS U.S. headquarters volunteers sent warmth to firefighters who stand firm on their jobs. This year, we brought a special blanket to keep them warm, also an apple for a peaceful year. We're always, you know, it gets really cold, it's an old building. We don't really have really that good heaters here, so we definitely use the blankets, we'll definitely use the blankets a lot, and the tea helps us stay healthy. When the public is on vacation, police officers need to work harder. However, they are proud of their jobs. And I'm very proud to serve the residents in, of uh, San Dimas and surrounding areas. Aside the mission to put out a fire came, city volunteers can only wave their hands to give firefighters encouragement. During the Christmas and New Year holiday, most Americans are on vacation or taking breaks, and no one would think about these firefighters and police officers, so we thought we should visit them. I'd like to thank you all for coming. Uh, you know, we're away from our family right now, so it's very generous of you to show up here on the day after Christmas and bring us gifts while we're working, especially stuff that's recycled. It's great for the community, great for the world. The long-term relationship has made such volunteers understand the needs of firefighters in the winter. They hope the blanket can keep them warm when they are working so they can continue to serve the public. In the aftermath of the flood in Indonesia, many civilian charity organizations joined the government to send aid supplies to affected residents. The Indonesia chapter also provided hot food to the needy and still further volunteers need to take a boat to deliver items to disaster survivors personally. Take a look and see you next time.